This is Living Power with Dan Hurst. Proverbs 3, verses 9 through 10 says, Honor the Lord with your wealth, the best part of everything your land produces. Then, then, th see the priority? Then he will fill your barns with grain and your vats will overflow with the finest wine. What happens with our lives many times is that we want, we, we want to turn this verse around. We want God to fill our barns with grain and our vats to overflow with the finest wine. Then we'll honor the Lord with our wealth and the best part that the land produces. And God says, no, 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 time out. That's not the way it works. This is the, this is the, the parameters that God has set. And so God says, I want you to understand how I've designed money. What I, you know, man didn't invent money. God invented it. God invented money to be used according to his purpose and his plan. It was his strategy all along. And one of the reasons is because, and one of the reasons that we mess up is because we think it's our invention and it's something that we should have control over. But God sees money as a tool. He sees it as an implement to be used. And uh, in fact, he teaches us over and over again that uh, money is not something that is to be acquired and held onto, but something that is to be used for God's purposes and plans. And by the way, you're included in God's purposes and plans. So it's not that it's not that God's forgetting about you and doesn't want to include you and provide for you and meet your needs. He does. He intends to do that. But it is a process that God is taking you through. So money is a tool. It is a weapon in the wrong hands. It is a weapon and it can be so harmful when it's managed the wrong way in the wrong hands. But when it's used for the right things, for the right reasons, at the right time, it becomes a tool to make life better. Very much like, as I, I, I illustrated last Sunday, it's like a, a controlled fire on a cold night brings, brings, brings comfort. It it's, makes life better. But if that fire gets out of control, then it becomes destructive. The same thing is true with money. Money under control brings comfort. It brings, it brings a, a sense of, 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 of peace, that, that God is in control. But the minute our money gets out of control, it becomes very destructive.